I want them to throw the book at them. Throw the book at them, just lock them up. On Wednesday, a three-year-old toddler died inside a hot van outside her daycare provider in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Now Wanda's Kids World has been forced to close and the child's family wants justice. And this is hard. It's, it's, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. And I'm, I can't deal with this no more. And I'm tired of innocent children getting hurt for no reason. That makes no sense to me because how did you get one baby out that was on the other side of a baby and didn't get this other baby out? Daycare workers picked up Demai and McElvin in their van early Wednesday morning, but investigators believe they accidentally left the toddler in the van after they arrived at the daycare center. When workers prepared to return the children to their families around 3 o'clock that afternoon, they found Demayan's body in the van. Temperatures in Baton Rouge reached about 98 degrees on Wednesday. It would have been even hotter in the van, too hot for Demayan. The toddler's relatives say the daycare center should have had steps in place to prevent this from happening. You gonna tell me you take these children and bring them in the daycare? You don't take counts? But my son had to sign and make sure all his children was on him? Workers brought Demayan inside the center and performed CPR, but they couldn't revive her. Family members say Demayan's parents are distraught. They turned around and they seen homicide. She broke down because she realized one of her babies was missed. Wanda's Kids World has a history of violations. Its license has been revoked three times. A call to the owner has gone unanswered. No criminal charges have been filed in Demayan's death, but officials are still investigating. Diane Kepley, The Associated Press.